Hey everyone, this is Maddie, one of the naturalists at Gulf Branch Nature Center located in Arlington, Virginia. Thanks so much for joining me again for another walk around my block where we explore something cool happening in my neighborhood that's also probably happening in your neighborhood at this time of year. Today we're in my backyard again and um, we are going to check out what's happening at the bird feeder here behind me. So I can't make any promises that we're going to have any visitors while we're outside here today, although I hope we do. Certainly keep your eyes on the feeders today while we're chatting here together. Over the last few weeks, I've noticed a pair of northern cardinals visiting my feeder, and even if you don't have a yard and you're not able to feed birds, um, you will still see cardinals in our area. They are pretty common birds and they're here year round, so you can see them all year long. But if you are able to put up a bird feeder of some kind and you do have your own yard where that's possible, um, cardinals are going to be one of the most regular and common visitors to your feeder because they eat seeds on their own, right? Um, cardinals eat a mix of seeds, insects, and berries, and when we provide bonus seeds at a bird feeder, um, cardinals are going to be visitors there. So, um, just in case we don't see our cardinal pair today, I've got some images to share with you. This is a picture of a male cardinal, and you can see that bright orange beak that it has. Um, it's fairly large, and that's a sign often that a bird is a seed eater. It's going to use that, that strong, large beak to crack open seeds. It's just our male cardinals that have this bright red coloring. Um, I often think of them as the Christmas birds because you so often see them used in holiday decorations and Christmas greeting cards, but um, the female cardinals actually have a more grayish coloring. So again, the males are going to have those bright red feathers and bright orange beak, but the female is going to be um, a grayish sort of buffy brown color. She will also have an orange beak and some red feathers or reddish tinge to her feathers along her wings, tail, and crest or crown on the top of her head, but it's just the male that's going to have these, these bright red feathers that you see here. At this time of year, um, cardinals are certainly getting close to the end of their nesting season, so they will have started nesting much earlier in the spring. It takes them about a week to build and complete a nest, and then they incubate the eggs they lay in that nest for another two weeks. And once those eggs hatch, it takes a little cardinal um, roughly a week to get to fledgling age. So in any given season, a breeding season, um, a pair of cardinals might just raise one nest of babies or they might raise two. If they get an early enough start in the spring, they'll have time um, to have a second round of babies. I have with me today a nest that I'd love to share with you. This is a nest from a cardinal um, and you can see it was constructed on these twigs or branches. Okay. The female cardinal does the bulk of the nest building. So she's going to create a base using twigs um, by either building right onto branches on a tree or collecting twigs and bringing them to an area. After that base of twigs, she'll create a base of leaves. And then on top of that base of leaves, she weaves grapevine and then creates sort of an inner cup of pine needles and grasses and softer materials um, that she sort of rounds out with her body. So she's going to use that strong beak or strong bill that she often uses to crack open seeds to actually make um, some of these materials a little bit more pliable. She'll bend them around her body and then use her feet to sort of pack them in place and use her body to sort of make that soft little cup that you see. Again, birds build nests for their babies. They don't build nests to sleep in on their own. Um, I did have a cardinal egg to share with you that I would love to show you. So I just had to remember um, what pocket I put my little cardinal egg in. As you can imagine, this is a replica cardinal egg, so it's not the real deal. Um, but you can see cardinal eggs have this amazing pattern on them, sort of reddish, brownish, overlaid on top of kind of a gr light greenish coloring. And a female cardinal will lay between two to five eggs like this in her nest, right? So it will go right into that little soft cup. Again, the adult cardinal is never going to sleep in the nest. The nest is just for the babies. The eggs go into that little cup shape and that little cup shape serves to protect the babies as they grow into fledglings. You may have been hearing cardinals singing in the background today. We also have our wren singing again. If you watched Walk Around My Block a few weeks ago, we learned about the wrens hanging out in the yard here. Um, I would love to play you a cardinal song just in case it's difficult to hear through the camera and the recording. Um, 
and hearing our wren solidly, but our cardinal's a little bit further away. So let's go ahead and play a cardinal song so you know what it sounds like. You can begin to listen for cardinals in your own neighborhood. We'll try it one more time. As you can see, a male's cardinal song is really a series of whistles and slurs. Um, I love practicing bird songs, really helps me try to remember them, and that's an easy one because it is fairly easy to, to replicate or recreate that whistly sound. Cardinals have done um, really well in some of our more suburban and urban areas, and that's in part because they really like the edges of forests, which we create a lot of when we make room for cities and neighborhoods. So there isn't too much that we need to do to support their populations, although I will say if you'd um, like to see more cardinals as well as any other native bird um, in your neighborhood and you have your own property, one of the best things you can do is plant native plants that are native to our area. They support um, the largest amounts of insect life. And I know we talked earlier about cardinals eating seed. They certainly do. They have those seed crushing beaks or bills that we saw in the photographs but they also eat insects, um, especially the young, right? Baby cardinals are gonna be fed a diet that's almost exclusively insects, really heavy in protein and is what baby birds need to grow so strong so quickly. So planting native plants that support robust insect populations will certainly help cardinals as well as lots of other native birds. Um, if you'd like to learn more about cardinals or if you have questions about cardinals or anything else you might be finding in your neighborhood, there will be more information on the final slide um, as well as our contact information. So our email, our phone number, um, and our web page if you'd like to reach out and ask those questions. Thanks so much for joining us today for our final walk around my block and hopefully we'll see you in a few weeks for um, our weekly five-minute finds. Take care.